everyone, welcome back to another video. Gabby here, and I took like a week or two off. Um, just driving and everything is just a lot on me, hauling, recording, drifting. And yeah, so after Jujubin Raceway, after Grid Life, I just kind of put the Corvette in the garage and just kind of like left it. I haven't really looked at it since. Uh, <laughs> we found a bunch of uh, a bunch of problems. Not a lot. There's like a lot of little things that definitely need fixing on the Corvette since the rebuild and since driving it a handful of times and really trying to figure out the setup and learning the car. And obviously, it's an older car, so some things are gonna go bad. <laughs> the biggest issue that I'm concerned about is that happened twice, both at LS Fest and at Grid Life when it's hot after driving it, when the temperatures are risen. Um, it has like no oil pressure, like three to four PSI at idle. At idle, okay, so, so, so it could be worse. It's only at idle. On throttle, under pressure, like it's actually fine and running to, like, totally fine, like oil pressure wise. It's only at idle that it really loses oil pressure, which is a little bit of a relief, but definitely an issue that needs fixing. I'm pretty sure the oil pickup isn't on there correctly. The OEM oil pickup, has one hole for a bolt. It just doesn't quite line up properly with the oil pump. And when I was originally building the engine, I saw it and I was like, eh, like we'll see, worst case. And so I kind of figured, I had a hunch that that was my issue. I'm also running OEM oil weights. So when we take apart the engine to get to the timing cover to fix the oil pickup, we're also gonna be putting in a thicker oil. We're going with Motul 50 or 1550, I'm pretty sure. Definitely much thicker weight, so it won't lose its viscosity, you know, bouncing off the rev limiter. A handful of other issues that we've had, the power steering keeps boiling over. I can only do a handful of laps before the power steering is gone because all of the fluid is boiled over. So I'm looking into coolers and how to get a proper power steering cooler reservoir and setup in here. And then also knowing that in the future, I'll probably need an oil cooler just because these Corvettes are, are known to overheat and you know, their biggest issue is heat. So power steering, oil, our positive crankings, ventilation tubes had to be rerouted. So we just kind of capped them for Gingerman and they still are kind of having oil leak everywhere. So I'm going to need to find a catch can solution. One of the brake lines, the hard lines from the master cylinder to the front driver wheel was replaced and it wasn't replaced correctly. So that was leaking. So we were just dealing with fluids all weekend. But today we're going to go ahead and tackle the, the oil pressure issue. Texas Speed went ahead and sent me, it's almost like a girdle strap attachment and it will go on to the oil pickup and just be able to be have a bolt on either side instead of just one so that it can meet up correctly to the oil pump. It just sucks, I gotta take it all apart again. That's okay. I really appreciate going down to Premier Performance and they are gonna allow me to use their space and it will be a much quicker job not only having help but having a lift and the correct tools to help me take this car apart, put it all back together pretty quickly. We're gonna go ahead and get the Corvette started, loaded up, and we're gonna drive over to Premier Performance. So instead of taking up everything from the top, because we're here on a rack, we're actually gonna try and get the oil pan down from underneath and get to the oil pickup line that way. So it should save us a ton of time instead of taking off everything from the top like I did when I built this the first time. So it should be easier to remove the oil pan from below this time than I, when I did it because I removed the leaf springs and got the Fortran coolers put on. So we have a bunch of stuff out of the way already. So it shouldn't be too bad to get this out. Oh, that's my fault. 
dishwasher washed it and now it's 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 all new looking. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. I can see my oil leaks better now. Oh yeah. <laughs> when well, they happen. We're gonna, we're gonna replace the oil pan gasket so that'll stay nice and dry. Wait, really? I just replaced it. I guess when you oh, undo it. You? Are you sure? Well, Please. I know, I, I noticed that. I may have done it, like installed it wrong, but yeah, I noticed it was leaking. So this again. gasket's new. Yeah. Oh, well, if you replaced it, we may be able to reuse it. But then it's, just, it's, it is leaking. There is some, there's some signs of moisture. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, then I guess if it's coming off, why not? I mean, it may have just been me from installing it incorrectly <laughs> the first time. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> this is going to be the cleanest part on the whole car. Definitely not even close it's not to not even it's close to be. tight, no. Let me... Yeah, but maybe I bent it, uh... There you Ooh. go, Nice. Maybe it's already like that. Maybe it just wants to be a name. Why is it full of steel wool? Steel wool? What? You cleaned what? lots of things. Yeah. Steel Oops. wool fibers. That's literally me. <laughs> So we'll pull that guy down. Probably been for me trying to. Well, you can see in her picture, it. I didn't go in and make anything, I just ran it home. Yeah. And it was like 2 a.m. and I didn't really. Same room. Doesn't fit. The other way. I know. Hold on. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Problem solved. So part of the problem originally is that this part of the oil pickup wasn't seating up to. Where is it? The oil pump properly because it only had one, what would you call that, ear? The, the ear here and the fitment of the o-ring wasn't cohesive, we'll say. That's a big word. So we're going to use this o-ring Yeah. along with your fancy, with, dandy. What would you call this? It's like a, it's, it's a, it's like a girdle. A girdle, that's a good word for it. We're gonna use um. this oil pump pickup tube girdle to keep things flat and happy. Yeah, so it should seat up properly to the oil pump and that should solve my oil pressure issue. Well, it's not too bad to get that bolt in there. And we also found some uh, steel wool caught up in the pickup. That's for me cleaning it. <laughs> I wanted it so clean it did backfired. We got one bolt in and it's already sitting a lot more flush to the oil pump than it was before. So I'm pretty excited for this to solve my issues. So after looking at everything, I'm really, really happy that we're here at Premier Performance. Not only do they have expert eyes to really look at everything, um, we're solving our oil pressure issue with the new um, oil pickup girdle. And then we also found out we have this broken motor mount that we're gonna be replacing and a new oil paint gasket. So we officially have the oil pan back on, all torqued down. The only thing we're waiting on is a new motor mount, and then we can get the K-frame on. Really excited to do some new laps, some shreds, and uh, see if the oil pressure is fixed. But we also have oil. We have new oil, it is 1550, it's a much thicker weight than what I was running, which you kind of need for you know, the heads that I have and just the kind of driving that I'm doing.
so we have her down oil pan is back on we fixed a couple of other few things i'm very excited to take it out and give it a good test run at the next event thank you so much for helping my pleasure <laughs> Sweet, so we have the Corvette back into the garage. Thank you, Premier Performance, for helping me out. I always feel a lot better having expert eyes on some of the projects that I do. I would never say that I'm a mechanic or an expert, so thank you so much for all your support. And I am very excited to test drive the Corvette and make sure everything is running. And um, I have high hopes because the oil pressure, even taking it on and off the trailer and cruising around is already a lot higher and a lot more there. So I'm pretty sure that, that was my problem to my oil pressure anyway. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I can't wait to bring you along in the next video. Bye.